Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today we are going to take this 30 cal Impact M3 and we are going to change it over to a 22 caliber um, M3 with the Huma tension system. So this will be a pretty um, in-depth video if you're looking to install a Huma tension system and uh, you know we'll go from there but uh, first thing we want to do is make our gun safe so we're going to remove the air cylinder from the gun and make sure that she's completely empty of air we don't want any issues and not only that but you're gonna have to get in here and it's easier to do with uh, that. So we're gonna dry fire the gun a few times just to get the air to leak out. We have the cylinder in our hand. We're gonna set the cylinder aside and uh, she's draining. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and take our three millimeter um, Allen on our fix it stick system here. And we're gonna back the barrel lock nut out. Go ahead and <clears throat> get the barrel out of here barrel probably has never been removed from this gun and uh, so it's a little stiff there it goes a little stiff we're gonna pull that out we're no longer going to be using this one so we're just going to set it to the side and uh, then while we're at it since we've got the gun we're going to go ahead and remove this screw here pull this butt plate off and uh, we're going to, um, I'm going to cock the gun, put it on safe. So that this way I can get to this 1.5 millimeter uh, bolt back here. You can see I've got the gun cocked so that I can access the uh, pellet probe uh, lock nut here. And we can loosen this up so that we can take that probe. Oops. Move this back forward so we can remove the probe from the from the gun itself kind of holding on a little bit of an angle maybe get your fingernail in there and just kind of lift this out so Alan doesn't seem to want to grab that thing make sure it's all the way unscrewed it does appear to be there we go so there's our little lock we can take our 30 caliber probe out of the air gun grab our 22 caliber probe normally i would put a um a uh slug power kit in this but uh i want to see what i can achieve with just a stock probe so we'll drop our probe in there Move this back forward. Take our little set screw. And, uh, you know, some people like to Loctite these. Um, I just have a tendency to, I don't know, I just never really had like a serious issue with them backing out. Um, but it does happen. So, but I always have Allen's with me when I'm out in the field anyway. So, all right, so pellet probe is now done. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is decock the gun. And we're going to take a 4 millimeter um, Allen up here. And I've already pre-broken these loose. And we're going to loosen this up. Take our 2.5 and, and loosen up this back end here. And pull this off the top of the gun. Because we're no longer going to be using this um, top rail that came with the FX Impact. Um, we're going to use the Huma top rail that comes with the um, tension set. So, got this off. A little bit of moisture in there. We're going to set this off to the side. And then we're going to grab our Huma system. And you'll see why. Because there's all these little screws in the bottom here that we're going to be using to complete the tension system. So I'm just going to pull them off of here so that we can 
do the tension system itself. And you guys will see why we need these in just a second here. Hopefully, I get these all out of there real quick. They're just hand tight, so nothing major. And uh, I've really come to really love this system. Um, I wish that I could get a different top rail sometimes, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So we're going to just go ahead and line this up. Drop our screws in their holes. I don't tighten them until all the screws have found their holes. Um, so just that way, you know, I'm not fighting against it or anything like that. But once I've got the two back ones in and the front ones just kind of there, uh, then I go ahead and add a little bit of tension to them. Not too much. You don't really want to over tighten these um, because you'll really have a hard time breaking them loose uh, in the future. So there we have the Huma Tension top rail installed. And now we're going to grab our 22 caliber barrel and um, I've actually removed the shroud from this uh, because we're not gonna be using the shroud. We're gonna go ahead and insert it into the air gun. Bring it down. I am going to use the slug side of this kit. We're going to go ahead and get it to find its hole. There we go. We got it in there. So now we're going to take our three millimeter again and just tighten up our, our barrel nut or our barrel tension nut. And then we're going to turn the gun over. And here's the next part in the system. It's this um, shroud piece that's gonna come down our barrel and it's going to line up with those holes where we took these screws from. And uh, let, me grab a, let me grab one of these. Might be easier, I don't know. Let's try it with the fix it sticks. Whoops, we're just gonna stick one in the, the hole and go ahead and you know, it's a little out of, a little out of whack. So we're gonna grab one of these a little tighter to the to the system itself. We're gonna find the the holes. Let me see here. Let me find a flashlight real quick. I just want to make sure they're lined up, and uh, and they are. All right. So we're gonna. Take these and drop them in these holes here and uh, just start them all. Get them snugged up, not super tight yet, uh, just because I want to get all of them uh, installed. And uh, here I'll turn the gun sideways so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just dropping them into their respective holes and uh, tightening them up. Yeah, it's kind of hard when it's laying on its side. It wanna, it wants to kind of go in a little bit crooked. There we go. This is probably the most time-consuming part, but uh, but it does a really good job. And 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 actually, what this is doing is this is adding the. Um, part to the barrel so that when we put the tension system on it it doesn't um, try to um, pull the barrel out of the gun this is like the this is like the uh, other end of the tension system if you will I have to move my valve a little bit there we go which is no big deal because we're going to retune the gun to uh, there we go you can see I'm Putting that in there. Now you could remove the valve, but I don't know. I don't see that it's really that necessary. Um, you know, you could it'd make it maybe a little bit easier to uh, uh, put the screws in. But overall, I mean, this is a, 
it's a pretty easy process whether you do that or not um, so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and cinch them down so that they're seated on the the uh, metal as we're tightening these up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my fix-it sticks with a two and a half and I'm going to start really tightening them down because like I said this is where we're going to get our rigidity um, the clamping I guess you could say of the barrel itself so that when we put the um, carbon fiber sleeve on there it might be easier with this um, that we're not uh, pulling the barrel out of the end of the gun so this is kind of like a pinch point if you will and uh, you're nice and snug in there <sighs> I said you really don't want to really necessarily over tighten these but definitely want to put some good tension on them and then uh that way we'll be able to break them loose when we're ready if we're ready this gun's probably going to live its life like this so can't imagine this tension system coming off this gun there'd have to be a really really good reason for me to do it and it won't be just because, you know, because. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we've got this pinch point on here, right? Now we're going to go ahead and grab the carbon fiber sleeve that comes with the Huma set. And we're going to slide it down. And it actually goes inside of this ferrule here. You can see on the end, I've got my thread showing. And then we're going to take the end cap, which is threaded for our moderator, and we're going to stick it on here and we're going to tighten it up. Now this is where our tension is going to come in because we're pulling the barrel tight. So I'm going to grab a crescent wrench here. I probably actually have a wrench for it, but I find that crescent wrenches work just fine. And we're going to go ahead and put some decent tension. We don't have to do a ton, but some decent tension onto that setup. So now, now we have our tension system put on here. And, you know, you can add the moderator of your choice, whichever that may be. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to use on this one yet. Um, you know, I might just stick with the stock moderator or, you know, I could go with, uh, you know, like a zero dB. Stick that on the end of it. Um, I really like these zero dB moderators. Um, but, you know... I don't know. I'm going to tell you guys this. I am so impressed by the rigidity of this and how well this Huma setup works that I may just reach out to Huma and see if they're interested in letting me deck this gun out in Huma um, products. Um, I, you know, because I still need a bottom rail for it. I just got this gun um, the other day. And, uh, you know, I haven't even shot it in 22, just in 30, but, uh, this is going to be my NRL gun and, uh, shooting PRS as well. Um, I found that the tension system with the Zon 30 and a half in 22 is just phenomenal. I mean, I've shot 250 yards and, uh, not had any real issues so all i've done is taken the system off of my other impact put it onto this um but uh yeah huma if you guys are interested i would love the opportunity to try out one of your huma moderators your huma regs as well because uh i just think they're a superior reg to pretty much everything that's out there and maybe your bottom rail and uh 
you know, see if we can't uh, put together a Huma ran gun, especially with your Huma nameplate on the other side. So we are going to upgrade this gun as well to a power block. This is a pre-power block gun, um, but I do have a power block to put on it. I'm just not going to do it in this video, but we will come back and we will put the, po excuse me, the power block on it um, at a later date. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. I hope you guys enjoyed the video on how to install the Huma Bye. tension system. And uh, we will talk to you guys all soon. Till next time, be good to each other. God bless.